Attention ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Droids, this is your Grand Admiral Arnold Collin, the director of the Video Gaming Division here at the Galactic Empire, and we got a fun game to talk about today. Galaxy of Heroes has been slow, pretty dead, and I've been playing other games out there. Oh no, is that even possible? I want to introduce you guys to a game Mobile Gamer got me hooked on called, Gary, put it on the screen, Battle Breakers, the latest hero RPG collector game, and it's made by the developers of Fortnite, Epic Games. I like the game, reached out to them. They said they'd sponsor an episode, so it's a win-win. So thank you, Epic Games, for sponsoring this episode, because I want to tell you why I'm enjoying this game, because it combines a lot of my interest in Yu-Gi-Oh!, Pokemon, and yes, even Power Rangers, and I'm going to explain that today. And if you download the game and use my supporter creator code, Arnold, and you defeat the first three bosses, it does support this channel. So thank you guys so much who want to try out this game with me. So yes, I do love Star Wars, of course, which is why I do a lot of Galaxy of Heroes, but as you see, Love me some Pokemon. I love playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Kaiba Crew for life, baby. And one of my favorite childhood memories is waking up Saturday morning when I was a kid and watching the Power Rangers. And why do I bring in Power Rangers? Because if you listen closely, the theme song for this game reminds me a lot of the Power Rangers theme song. Just listen for a second. And also, what's cool about this game is that it's cross-platform. You can play it on PC. You can play it in the uh, iOS app store. On Android, there's the Epic Games app, as well as the Samsung Galaxy store. I mean, so I play mainly on my PC, as we're going to see today. And as you see, you can also play it on your phone. I like the flexibility of being able to play on my PC or on the go on my mobile device. And the, and the progress transfers over no matter what you do. So Battle Breakers is a hero collector RPG game where you collect your heroes, you level them up, and you take them against a variety of opponents and especially bosses that come across in this world that's being infiltrated by all these monsters from some other intergalactic dimension. And the main point of this game, it's really a single player campaign game at this point, which is kind of nice, because the one thing about PvP games is it compulses you to spend a lot of money, and it could be stressful at times. With this game, it's pretty low key chill because it's a story line you're trying to complete. You take your character and you try to create a good team that you like. There's a lot of synergy going on in this game as well, which leads to a lot of theory crafting uh, fun when you're going into these battles. So with Pokemon, certain Pokemon are weak and stronger against other types of Pokemon. For example, Bulbasaur is weak to Charmander because Charmander is fire and Bulbasaur is a grass type Pokemon. And they kind of have that element in this game, which again, it kind of becomes important when you're trying to form squad synergy and other squad compositions. And in this game, there are a variety of elements as well. Very much like Pokemon. You have yourself the dark, light, water, grass, fire. And as you see up here, there is an elemental strategy. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. And as you see, if you see this uh, little icon on the field, that means you do extra damage. But let's say if you're trying to do grass against fire, you're going to be at an elemental disadvantage. And of course, light can beat dark and dark can beat light. So this is very much like Pokemon. So if you're someone that's a kind of a big Pokemon enthusiast, kind of like myself, uh, the elemental aspect of this game is going to kind of come secondhand because this is pretty much how Pokemon is, just a lot less complicated, I'd have to say. What about the Yu-Gi-Oh! aspect? The Yu-Gi-Oh! aspect, in my opinion, is more about character design, because this is a very original IP. You're not going to see, uh, the, the, these aren't going to be Star Wars, it's not going to be Marvel, and of course, the art direction might not be everyone's taste. But if you're someone that kind of enjoys the art direction of Magic the Gathering or, uh, or Yu-Gi-Oh!, you're going to kind of find yourself at home here. And each of these characters has their own kits, very much like uh, Galaxy of Heroes and Marvel Strike Force. So if you're looking for kit development and synergy, this game is going to have that as well. And then I guess the last element that kind of ties in with my love of Power Rangers, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh! is going to be that hero RPG aspect, very much like Raid Shadow Legends, Marvel Strike Force, and Galaxy of Heroes, because you're going to take these characters that you like, you think are cool, have a good kit, and then you're going to level them up. And then each character has their own kit, very different kit. You're going to have your basic ability, which is what you're going to be using most of the time and then your special skill uses what's called mana i think of it kind of like uh, special energy that's kind of the best way i can put it i'll show you once we get into battle and as you see when you use this special ability it takes away some of your mana it does all this right here and this has a stun this is a great character again i, I don't want to spoil too much on what the next video is going to be about and then there's pass abilities think of unique abilities like in marvel strike force or galaxy of heroes this just happens all the time behind the scenes it's nothing that you have to activate it just kind of happens on the zone commander skill is going to be your leadership ability this character does not have a leader leadership ability as we see right here but some other characters will such as razor she has this right here which is called dual daggers which she, she could throw additional two daggers with crystal daggers basically she just takes a lot of attacks and does a lot of damage that's the, the short way of summarizing at this moment and so when it comes to putting all these characters together you actually have a lot of flexibility to make your team because uh it's kind of important we're gonna have a guide on kind of a uh, best beginner tips on how to tackle this game but your commander or your leader can be in any of these slots. If I wanted to, I can make her the commander. I can make him the commander. I can make him the commander or I can make her the, uh, the commander. 
placement is important in this game because in order to get to the back row you need to take out the first front row of the character so there is some strategy in terms of where you place characters and then here's kind of the main objective of the game once you have your characters you want to try to complete this game now again i want to reiterate right now it's very much so a single player experience it's very low key you don't feel stressed out that other players in the world are beating you i don't know if there's going to be a pvp aspect in this game when i reached out to epic games told them i liked their game and we talked about maybe sponsorship opportunities to kind of go with my love of the game right now i asked them if there's a pvp aspect and right now it's a very much so uh, a single player campaign driven thing so who knows if they'll add it down the line might be a cool thing to add but there's all these missions that you go through so if you're familiar with how marvel strike force is and galaxy there's a campaign but there's an actual story behind though you're not just aimlessly doing battles but if you ever get lost you don't know where the left the leave uh, go off next just click on this play button it'll take you to the next spot that's kind of ready for your level because there will be some levels that are a bit higher than you're uh, able to access but that play button kind of brings you to an area that you should be uh, ready to tackle and let's hop in the battle and now show you how the gameplay actually works loading times are pretty snappy which is nice as well and so now we're hopping the battle here and it's gonna look a little weird this is where there's a different take. It's not traditional like Galaxy Spheres or Marvel Strike Force. The map layout looks a bit different, and it's not Bejeweled. You're going to see colorful crystals. It's not Bejeweled or Candy Crush or anything like that, but it kind of gives you a little bit of a vibe like that. What you have to do, basically, is kind of unearth the ground. Click on all these varieties of, I call them gems. Click on these gems so it reveals more area. And as you click on gems, you're going to either get gold, and the longer you go on a streak without unearthing a monster, the more gold you're going to get. So that the goal is to kind of try to clear up all these uh, gems, clear out the monsters, and move on to the next room. We're going to click on that. We're going to keep clearing. So here we go. We unearthed a couple of enemies right here, and this is where the elemental strategy comes in. So think of Pokemon. Dig into your Pokemon knowledge. As we see right here, I got a water-based uh, character right here that has an advantage up against these characters because these are fire-based characters. So you have two abilities. You got your basic and you got your special. So just use a basic. All you got to do is just tap once. Now you see this guy is taking a cooldown. He's hiding under stealth. And here, right here, shows you how many more turns until this character can attack again. Now you also have your special attacks. And to do a special attack, you kind of just click and drag up. And now they're going to do a special attack and do a lot of damage. Right there, we kind of had a splash damage capability. And to kind of show you the counterpoint, we have this guy right here. Grass is weak against fire. So you're going to see a down arrow. We're at a disadvantage. So we probably don't want to waste his turn going up against that character. But we'll do something else. We don't have our water-based uh, character. Let's go ahead and use our dark character. I'm just going to use the basic right here. And sometimes you're going to get what's called a reflex a reflex action and every character has a different reflex action what it means is that you have a split second something's happening in battle your character is going to try to counter or do extra damage and you want to quickly tap on those buttons as fast as possible so besides basic and specials you have these reflex options and i'll let me show you an example real quick for example with this character you have two reflex options you have a reflex attack and a reflex defense the reflex attack if you quickly press the button when it shows up you can perform another attack and then double strike can activate multiple times and then you have a reflex defense so when someone's attacking you can quickly try to counter it if the opportunity arises and you get 20 percent block and a 20 percent dodge of the attack so it's kind of cool again it's a very different experience compared to other games out there in terms of how the hero rpg battle games work and as you see that blue bar on the side that's your mana and that gets absorbed when you use special abilities like watch we're going to bring in razor right now watch her special attack right here and watch the mana deplete i believe she takes 50 mana to use her special she does it takes 50 mana and her cap right now is 75 so it's going to be a big chunk. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and drag up Crystal Daggers. She's a very powerful character, especially when she's the commander. That ability gets even more powerful. And occasionally when you're unearthing stuff, besides getting resources that pop up, you also sometimes get chests that grant a variety of items. And sometimes these pop up, which amplify your team's viability in battle. This right here will increase the strength. Uh, or the damage of your team for two attacks. Obviously, more damage output, the better. But sometimes there's things that'll heal up your team. Some things will refill your mana. So you kind of want to use these at the right time. Let's keep going. We're going to keep unearthing stuff. So here we go. Let's go ahead and do this ability just for the fun of it. There it goes. So everyone's damage increased. You'll see the little sword icon right here, meaning that our damage output is increasing right now. And I'm going to use it. Let's use, use our special attack. Let, what the heck? Let's go for it. And... He should be gone. Water against fire. Special ability. He's done for. And let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, open up the rest of these gems right here. And now we kind of get like a mini boss that we're going to go up against. These are much difficult opponents that you kind of come across. But here we go. Luckily, it's a fire-based uh, enemy. So I'm going to go ahead and do another special attack. I, I keep using special attacks until I drain all of my mana. You know what? Let's just keep spamming 
our special abilities right now. Let them go do their thing. And here we go. We got a reflex attack. So we were able to do bonus damage because I was quick to click on the button. And basically with this character right here, the Beastman champion, his reflex attack is that he gets 50% critical damage. So that is pretty good. All right, let's keep going. Keep getting the rest. So that's hero XP that you can use to level up characters. And then once you clear out an area, you go ahead, click on this, and it moves you to the next room. Each mission or each... uh node or battle that you're doing they'll have a couple rooms it could be two rooms could be seven rooms it depends uh, how challenging the uh, the particular battle is gonna be and now this last slot right here there's something called a pet i'm still trying to work out what how the importance of it but it's kind of like another mini ally to bring in each of them has their own kind of a uh, special attack so let's go ahead and summon this pet right here there we go and there's a lot of different pets in this game too it's, it's another just random thing that's kind of fun that mixes up the theory crafting potential we got the exit key you need those keys in order to uh get out of this room and move on to the next one keep clearing it out keep clearing it out we got a couple other guys right here there we go water pet took care of that guy let's do a basic right there there we go they're gone for collecting our energy oh we got one more can we get the uh, that guy to easy there we go so let's go ahead real quick and go into this bonus room before we go and get out of here so let's go go in here and you can just get a lot of extra resource it's kind of like finding a treasure room almost basically and i guess this is kind of a cool time to show you i mean one thing cool is that you don't have to kind of hover and babysit this game you can just throw it on auto and it's gonna quickly kind of get through and do its own thing now it's kind of like other games where it's ai driven you just press auto and let the the, 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 the computer or the device do its own thing it's not gonna be as optimal sometimes as a human controlling the game so you still very much are gonna want to have your own input in terms of uh, controlling the field, making sure the right team, uh, the right uh, abilities are being used at the right time. We're going to wait. Actually, let's get Razor in here. Let's see if Razor can do some work. There we go. I love her special ability. Look, boom, 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 boom. That actually was more than enough. We didn't even need our water-based water, uh, water -based, uh, character right there. So now let's go ahead. Ah, so here we go. Another boss. Another boss showed up on the field, and I'm kind of glad we saved our special ability now because I want to spam this against this fire-based character. Special ability. Let's go. We should get the assist as well, hopefully. There we go. There's the assist right there. These guys are going to be a little bit trickier, so let's just go. Let's spam another special attack. There we go. We're going to get a reflex attack. Whoa! Big attack right there. But as you see, she has a pretty big AoE, so she was able to get behind our front line and hit people like Silent Blade right here. Oh, boy. We're getting a little short on uh, health here. We're going to have to do a special attack right here. I know it's not optimal, but we're going to have to. There we go. Block, 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 block. There we go. Okay. Woo. Okay, come on. Stick with us. Stick with us right here. Special ability right here. Come on. Big hit. And she's almost gone. There's the assist. I'm telling you, that combo works fantastically well. Get the hero XP. Let's uh, call it. Oh, we got one more. A couple more guys. These guys aren't uh, anything. Let's go ahead and put on auto. So that's kind of just initial overview of how the gameplay works. At first, I got—I will admit—it kind of took me a second because, it's, again, it's very untraditional compared to like your uh, Galaxy Heroes and Marvel Strikers. But once you kind of learn the characters' kits and understand all you're doing is just clicking on these crystals to show the bosses and items and all these other uh, minions or enemies, then you start understanding where the game is going. I mean, for me personally, the reason why I'm playing this game is that it's because it's nice playing other things to fill in the time of Galaxy Heroes. That's low key, not stressful. It's me enjoying a story and kind of enjoying the animations, the sound effects, the uh, the synergy going on here and kind of tapping into those uh, childhood memories and other interests that I have in gaming. I want to thank Epic Games one more time for sponsoring today's video. I hope this game does turn into something a little bit bigger in the future. Being backed by Epic Games and the big, one of the biggest games out there, Fortnite, I have hopes that this game is going to be well supported for quite a long time. We'll see how it pans out. Like the video if you did enjoy. Comment down below on your thoughts on um, what you think of this game. Be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing. I'll talk to all of the lovely people in the next video. Peace out, everyone.